Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your Windows 10 license to another computer. And this is assuming that you have purchased a retail copy of Windows 10. This does not apply for ones that already came with Windows 10 installed. So for example, if you bought a prefabricated computer like an HP, Dell, Acer, Asus, Toshiba, whatnot, so basically pre-built and you already got the Windows license when you bought the machine. This tutorial does not apply for you. Microsoft does not allow you to transfer licenses in that way. However, if you went out and purchased a copy of Windows by itself, this tutorial will apply for you. Just want to put that out there. First thing you're going to need to know is to just locate your product key before you want to proceed with this video because once it's deactivated you're not going to be able to easily retrieve it unless of course you have the disk or the box you purchased the Windows 10 license from originally which is perfectly acceptable and I would hope that you guys still have that but if you don't I will have a link in the description of the video to another video I made about how to retrieve your product key so once you're done with that and you have your product key in a safe location we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu just off on the start button one time Type in PowerShell, best match should come back on Windows PowerShell, right click on it, and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video I want you guys to copy from my description, and then go up to the top bar of the Windows PowerShell window here, right click on it one time, left click on Edit, and then left click on Paste. Give it a moment here to run. It will take a second, so just be patient. It should say uninstalled product key successfully. So there you go guys, click on OK. Now whatever copy of Windows on a different computer you wanted to install, like if you just had the Windows 10 ISO, you could just select that I don't have a product key, go through the installation, or actually just go ahead and type in the product key, it doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna have another but I'm gonna have another command in the description of the video, so when you're ready to insert your product key, you're just gonna paste in what I'm gonna have in the description, except you're gonna actually enter in what your product key is. So for the slmgr.vbs there's going to be a spot that you're going to insert your product key and I will have a pretty clearly written note for that in the description of the video again so hopefully this tutorial should be able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.